Welcome back guys to another awesome JavaScript video. I am Caleb and today we're going to be learning a little bit about logical operators. Now, maybe like, well, Caleb, what the hell is that? And don't be scared because they are really useful, handy, and they're simple. They're not hard, nor are they complex. As you can see down here, we have our first AND operator. We have our OR operator. Oh, well. I accidentally clicked it. We have our OR operator and we have our NOT operator. So let's go ahead and get started. And if you're not already watching them full screen and if you're not at Code Academy, go ahead and do them both right now. So resetting our code. Here we go. Overview. So far, we've seen how to control our programs given a single condition. Whether one variable is equal to a certain value, for instance, but what if we want to check more than one variable? For this, we'll need logical operators. JavaScript has three. The AND operator, which is two AND symbols, which if you don't know where those are located, it is normally the shift and the seven key, and that will give you the nice little AND symbol. The OR operator, which is the shift and the um, backslash, I believe, you, it's the straight bar, and the NOT operator which is just an exclamation mark so I'm sure everyone knows where the exclamation mark if you don't it's shift in one so using these three we can check several variables at once check out the code in the editor so the instructions are starting to make sense set both variables in the editor to be true and hit run to see what happens so as you can see, if we take a look over here in our code, we have a variable, I love JavaScript, and it wants us to set it to true. And we also have another variable called I love learning, so we also set this to true. Our first if statement is going to say, if I love JavaScript and I love learning. Now, whenever you pass in a variable, which is a Boolean, which a Boolean is whether it's true or false, also, if it's a 0 or a 1, um, those can also be passed in as true or false values. Um, but anyways, whenever you pass in a value, it's automatically going to check if it's equal to true. So there's no sense in putting equal to true like so, because that's just extra coding, and why program more? Why, like, you know, like, why type more whenever it does the same exact thing? That's an insufficient programming. So... Is going pretty much it's saying if I love JavaScript and I love learning is true, it's going to console.log awesome. Let's keep learning. Now, what we have is an else if. So, in this case, we're using our first logical operator, which is a not sign. And what this is saying if not I love JavaScript, so the opposite of true is false. So, if it's saying if it's false. Or, which is the this next operator sign, or if it's false, because I love learning, or I love JavaScript, and it's all, as you can see here, we have these little um, parentheses around it, so it's setting both of those to the opposites, which at the moment, they're both set to true, so the opposite, or not true, is false. So, if one is false, or the other is false, then it's going to result in console.log, Let's see if we can change your mind. Now, a quick note on the or, and I'm not sure if we'll get into it, if they'll explain it in the, uh, the next couple of uh, exercises, but um, the or statement only has to have one thing true. So if it says, oh, if JavaScript is, let's, for example, if we just say JavaScript is, I love JavaScript is true, and I love learning is set the faults at the moment, it's going to say, if true, if I love JavaScript, uh, if I love JavaScript, which is true, or I love learning which is false is saying if it's true or false which results into true then it's going to be ran and then finally we have else console.log you only like one but not the other well work on it which will result in both of them one being true and one being false so save and submit so we got the awesome let's keep learning hopefully I didn't confuse you guys um, so the logical operator and is written in JavaScript like this and it's two and symbols. It evaluates the true when both expressions are true. If they're not, it evaluates the false. So, as you see here, we have our truth tables. We have true and true, which results in true. We have true and false, which results in false. We have false and true, which 
results in false and we have false and false which results in false because as you can see here true and true obviously is going to be true for this to be true we have to have two of the same which that both equal out the true so if it's saying if it's true and it's false well it's got to be false because it can't be true and false at the same time same thing for the third one if it's false and it's true it's got to be false because they both can't be true now at the very bottom if it's false and it's false two false don't make a true so it's obviously false so what it wants us to do is create two variables hungry and food here and set them both to equal to true inside the eat function create an if statement that returns true only if both hungry and food here are true and false otherwise the function eat should take no input and hungry and food here should be both globals so declare global variables you have to declare them outside of your functions and um, if you don't know the difference between on scopes like global and private there was an earlier video that I did talking a lot about um, really when I'm t I, I honestly think I went over the um, top talking about um, the scope about how private and globals are different but uh, go check them out uh, it's way back a couple videos so um, hopefully you'll find it if you don't just leave a comment and I'll send you the link but um, declare global variables we're gonna do them outside of the function and it wants us to create a variable called hungry and set it to true and then it wants to create another variable and it wants us to say food here make sure to have your h capitalized and once again set it to true inside our eat function we're gonna have an if statement so if hungry so if we are hungry and there's food the food is here so food here we're gonna return true because then we can eat so make sure to have the return true because it makes sense if we're hungry and there's food in front of us we can obviously eat else so in other words if we're hungry but there is no food there well we can't eat because we're not hungry or if we aren't hungry but there is food in front of us we're not going to eat because we're not hungry so we're just going to return false here now if we go ahead and submit the code we get the green light but we didn't call anything so it never gave us a true or false which is fine we got the green light so here we go the logical operator or is written in javascript like this which is just two vertical bars it evaluates the true when one or the other or both expressions are true. If they are not, it evaluates the false. So if we go ahead and take a look at our truth tables down here, we have true or true, which equals true. We have true or false, which equals true. We have false or true, which equals true. And then we have false and false, false or false. And that's going to be false. Now, there's no really there's no other way to really look at this is to see well if I have one that's true and the other one or if the other one's true, well yeah, the one or the other one's going to be true. If I say one is true and the other one is false, well that's going to evaluate the true. And it pretty much just takes only the first one. If it's true, then it's going to be true. But if they remember if they're always false, it's always if they're both false in other words, it's always going to be false unless you get to the not the not's just the opposite, and we'll cover that in the next here in a second. You'll you'll see it jumping ahead. So what it wants us to do is create two variables once again, tired and bored, and set one equal to true and the other one equal to false. It doesn't matter which is which. Inside the nap function, create an if statement that returns true if either tired or bored or both are true and false otherwise. So once again, we're going to declare some global variables. So var tired and I'm not tired so I'm gonna go ahead and say false to that now var and let's just go ahead and say bored now I'm not really bored but we can go ahead and just say true for this little exercise which is fine now there's nothing going to be passed through our function so right now we're just gonna say if true or not true if <laughs> oh I put turd 
That should be tired. Glad I caught that. That would have given us an error. So if tired or bored, then we're going to say, well, true. that's going to be true. Else, we're going to return false. Ah, return false. There we go. So what we're saying is, well, if we are tired or if we're bored, we obviously want to take a nap. Else, if we're not tired and if we're not bored, then we don't need, we have no reason to take a nap. There's no point in taking a nap. We don't need to take a nap. So hopefully, if we go ahead and run this, we get the green light and way to go. Nothing's out in our console because we never called our function, but it's fine. We still passed it. Now we're on four. The logical operator not is written in JavaScript like this, and it is an exclamation mark. Yeah, pretty scary. It's very intense, I know. It makes true expressions false and vice versa. So not true equals false and not false equals true. Huh? Huh? Get it? Get it? Yeah, it's not that hard. So the instructions are, once again, create one variable programming and set it equal to false. Inside the happy function, create an if statement that returns true if the expression involving programming is true. That is, not, probing, pro not programming will be true. Check the hint if you need help. So if we were to create our variable programming, and set it to false. Now, if we were to come into our function and say if not programming, and which returns in true, we would return true. Else, we're going to return false. Now, you may be getting, um, I put true there, but eh. False. You may be getting a little um, confused on the um, how many trues and faults, and which is, is a little bit hard to grasp at first. It may be a little bit tricky because you you're returning true, but you're passing in true. Huh? It doesn't really make sense. Just bear with me for a moment. So essentially, what we're saying here, right now, we're saying programming is set to false. So whenever we run our happy function, it's going to say, well if not programming so not programming is going to result in true so essentially what we're saying if we are programming and that's going to tell us well yeah we're programming so that's going to be true now in other words it's saying if we are programming which right now it's at the fault it's going to say no we're not programming so it's going to return faults so that little not sign just remember it changes the um, true or false value. It just remember, it just changes it and vice versa. So we go ahead and save and submit our code. We get the green light once again. Yeah, hooray! Yeah, but nothing in our console because we never called our function. Which it's fine. It's fine. You don't have to call your functions. It's all good. We get the green light. Let's go on the next exercise. Well done. That was part. No, what did I say? Well done. That last one was par particularly. Particularly trickly, yeah. Particular, particularly tricky. Blah, blah, blah. Tongue twister there. Or right, I just can't talk. I have a speech problem. I don't know. Either way. In this lesson, you review. Blah, blah, blah. Man. In, <laughs> In this lesson, you reviewed control flow syntax, learned about the switch statement, learned about the logical operators, and, which is two little and signs, or, which are two vertical bars, and not which is just an exclamation mark when you're ready click run to finish this lesson and move on to the next javascript project and if you stay tuned long enough we will have a project ready for you guys demonstrating how to do the next project obviously step by step walkthrough with your truly with yours truly myself you know okay the <laughs> no, no i'm just joking anyways um guys if you like this video don't forget to leave it a like Comment below if you get a little stuck on um, number four, um, or if you just have any general questions. You know, I'm I'm here, all ears, open ears. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe. You know, subscribing is awesome. Until next time, guys. Have a good day.